Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabe with Johnny Fan TV, man. Back after another video. Like the content in this video, go smash that like button. Like the content in this channel, go ahead and subscribe, man. Look, so fresh off the news from the Ravens losing Mike McDonald to becoming the new Seahawks head coach. Um, obviously, I left the vacancy at the fiscal coordinator. Ravens had a decision to make. They've already made their choice. Their choice is promoting inside linebackers coach Zach Orr to become their new defensive coordinator, right? So now we'll talk about good news, bad news, and you know, talk about the history of Zach Orr as a Raven, right? So remember, Zach Orr is only 31 years old, very, very young, right? He's a guy that if it wasn't for a spine injury, would probably still be playing for the Ravens, right? You know what I mean? So uh, 2014, undrafted, first two years in the league, he spends um, kind of uh, practice squad, not practice squad, I'm sorry, special teams kind of guy, um, didn't really get any snaps at, at on defense, right? Then 2016, he, he he absolutely turns it up, blows up, right? So we're talking about 15 games started, 15 games played, three interceptions, two two formal recoveries, 133 tackles, um, 92 solo tackles, six TFLs. I mean, like, this year, that year he completely blew up, right? So, and even leading to him becoming a second-team All-Pro selection in 2016, right? Then, like I said, he had, to, he had a spinal injury um, or condition that forced him to retire early, right? So, you know, that was 2016. And then straight off of that, he dove head first into coaching, right? So we're talking about um, 2017 to 2020, he was the Ravens defensive analyst. 2021, he left the Ravens, go to Jacksonville, be their outside linebackers coach, came back to the Ravens the last two seasons to become their inside linebackers coach. And now it's a defensive coordinator, right? So that's a little brief history on Zach Orr. Um, a guy who is outside of that little stint in Jacksonville, all he knows is being the Ra being a Baltimore Raven in the NFL, right? All right. Now, do I think this is a good hire for the Ravens? Yes, I do. I think that this is probably the best hire that, they, that they've kind of done without obviously having just Mike McDonald, you know, be the DC once again, right? This is probably the best guy for the job outside of that, right? So um, I'm a fan of the move, right? For a couple of reasons, right? Um, one, his mindset, his mentality, right? If you watch any of these wired clips, behind the scenes kind of clips, he's a guy that gets the team going, right? Um, he has a real good, strong rapport with the players. Roquan Smith, Patrick Queen, he's, well, you know, we'll see if PQ's here next year, but he has a real strong rapport with all of these defensive guys on the team, all right? That obviously probably helps because he's only 31 years old. He's not as far as um, out the age range as maybe some of the other, other, other coaches here, right? So for me... I like it from that perspective too, right? He can connect with the players. Also, honestly, he's been training up under McDonald, right? So when I forgot what it was, it might have been, might have been another Ravens wire, but it was pretty much like that. Mike McDonald's kind of second in command when it comes to defensive and game plans and things like that. Well, a lot of it was Zach Orr, right? So he was already a guy that's been helping out in that area. So now the only big difference is, which is a big difference is now he's going to be calling the plays, right? Which is a big difference. You got to have feel for the game. You got to know when to do this in this in certain situation. So it is a big jump from just, hey, helping out in the game plan to actually calling the defense. Huge jump, right? But if there's anybody that can make this jump, I think it is that core, right? So another reason is uh, player development, right? When Before he got here, the last couple of years of Ravens linebacker play, say so pre-2022, right, was not great, right? All right. Main guy, we just talked about him, Patrick Queen, right? Patrick Queen kind of, from what I can gather, right, there's two people that has really been monumental in helping Patrick Queen become the linebacker that he is right now, right? One guy is Mike McDonald, who just became the, obviously, the head coach of Seattle. And the other guy is Zach Orr, right? Those two guys have really helped him and pushed him along the way to becoming, you know, the kind of linebacker we thought he could be uh, when he was drafted in the first round, right? So, to me, player development is very, very strong. Also, the Ravens, in my in my opinion, I've said this you know plenty of times, had a tackling issue before this season, right? Before you know the last man, I guess I organized it uh, post Ray Lewis, but they had a tackling issue, right? Now I'm not going to give Zach Orr the entire credit for that, but I don't think it's a coincidence that a guy that was as good as he was tackling, wrapping up things like that, because he's one of the Ravens' last really good uh, inside linebackers, right? After Ray after Ray was gone. Zach Orr was probably the last one, right? Then there was a major gap in there, right? You know, you just had guys kind of filling in, you know what I mean? So, 
I don't think it's a coincidence that the Ravens tackling has gotten better as he's been here and becoming more established. I don't think that's a coincidence, right? I think he had an emphasis on that. He had a part to play in that, okay? So uh, for me, for losing a, you know, a young superstar head coach, uh, head coach candidate in Mike McDonald, um, this is probably the best solution that the Ravens could come up with, right? Was hiring a guy that honestly... In another couple years, he could be his own head coach himself. You know what I mean? You know, the NFL is obviously hiring young head coaches. And if they're giving guys a chance um, who are on the defensive side of the ball, you know, we see like like, like with McDonald, we saw with Brandon Staley. He was a young head coach, only had one year of calling plays before he got the job being the, uh, the Chargers head coach. So, uh, you know, Zach Orr does his job well for a couple of years. He'll be in line for a head coaching job himself. So, uh, for, for me, the Ravens did – about as good a job as you can do hiring somebody while losing a very, very talented and gifted coordinator in Mike McDonald, right? So, and um, I think the last thing I want to say about this is the fact that my biggest thing was, okay, you hire somebody new, how does that change the scheme? How does that change the scheme? How does that change the system, right? Zach Orr has been here, right? He's been here with McDonald. He's been his McDonald's number two. They've been coming up with the game plans probably side by side, right? So, well, he call, he, he's going to call the games differently because he's a different person, right? They're not the same exact person. But the scheme, well, I think, will stay intact. Um, the mentality will stay intact. And uh, I think that this Ravens defense that I was worried about having a significant drop-off going into next season, I'm a little less worried about that because you have a guy promoted from within who's already going to continue what we were already doing and build on that. So for me... Good hire by the Ravens. It makes a lot of sense for him, for the organization. Um, the Ravens definitely believe of uh, definitely believe in promoting from within. So that kind of continues on that trend. And like a little fun fact is that the last three um, linebacker coaches for the Ravens have become their defensive coordinator. So if you want to get an eye out on who's going to be the Ravens' next defensive coordinator, if Zach Orr happens to move on to a head coaching job or whatever it might be down the line. And look at the Ravens uh, linebackers coach. So Wink Martindale, Mike McDonald, and now Zach Ward, right? Three straight in a row. So, um, but yeah, that's my thoughts on it, man. I am excited for it. Makes a lot of sense for both sides, and I can't, I can't wait to see what he does, right? So give me your thoughts on it. Good move, bad move. Let me know in the comments, man. But it's Gabriel, just another fan TV. I'm out.